Hello again and welcome to my channel. So a quick request video this morning guys. Someone has asked me to record a few bowls for there. Um, I think a friend has got a, a D sharp, 313 hertz. I'm not sure what bowl type it is. Anyway, yeah, she liked that sound and wanted to find something similar. So it's worth mentioning, I've made multiple of these videos. Um, and I've loads of requests where someone's actually heard a bowl they really liked and they're trying to find one the same. Uh, it's a bit of a forlorn task actually because all the bowls are unique. You can't always do it. Actually, I haven't been able to do it so far. So let's see if we can do it this time. So, also, uh, I was asked to record this one, this C3 again. I don't know how many times I've recorded. This is the last one in the C3s anyway, I think. Um, 131 hertz and rim play was specified. Rim play, yeah, they rim play. Always bear in mind, guys, the larger balls, quiet rim play, more of a vibration than anything, yeah. I mean, me with my hearing loss, for me this is a vibration. There you go, you've got harmonic now. That's a nice ball. Okay, let's get on to the actual faddos. So, antique faddos. Let's start off with the one I found. So, a recent batch of balls that came in. There's this lovely... D sharp 4 and it's exactly 313 hertz it's 918 grams it's a really old bowl um, I'm afraid I'm gonna want probably 220 quid for this something like that yeah because it's uh, it was the best bowl of the batch let's have a listen to it Excellent sustain. So this is exactly the same frequency this person was looking for. Um, is it the same sound? Unlikely. But we'll see, yeah? Run plate. It's a nice ball. It's absolutely gorgeous, actually. The D4, D sharp 4, it's got a tiny little uh, dot puncher on the rim. Really worn circles inside. It's got some coppering. It's ancient, actually. For 220, it's a bargain. So um, that that'll be a price coming direct to me. I think I probably want a bit more online, you know, on the platforms. It's got a worn line on the rim as well. So that's that ball. Next up, we've got this E4, which isn't really that close. It's 333 hertz, which is, you know, it's pitch perfect for an E4. It's a nice ball. It's thick. It's really old. It's, this is the one. I remember this one with a really thick bottom on it. I would have said it's too far away from 313 to really, you know, to be close. So it's worth listening to, isn't it? Oh, let's see. I got a, I've got a one mallet handy. I've only got this little one. They'll all over and play well. Um, it's got a line on the rim. Beautiful bowl, actually. And this is quite a good price as well, you know. 333 and 894. 
So bear in mind, guys, all these are available for sale. Um, if you want to buy them, just get in touch. Um, whether you've asked for the video or not. Another E4, actually, it's not E3, is it? It's E4. E4, another 333, and this is 685 grams. It's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful ball. Look at this. Dual, dual colour, dual texture. Really good, um, good lines inside, you know, concentric circles. There's a line on the rim. I can't remember how much this was, but I think it's quite cheap. It hasn't got the sustain of the other one, has it? It's not as loud either. Let's take the sticker off the room. Sometimes that makes a big difference. In this case, no. This, you know, it's a nice ball, but probably great for room play. Yeah, great room play. I prefer the other one. It's not really close to this, is it? You know, to 313. It's not, it's not close enough. Okay, so we've got some D sharp 4 now. Here's a 312 hertz. This is 160. Oh my goodness, this bowl again, guys. I don't know how many times I've recorded this now. This is crazy. Uh, so this needs to go because it's absolutely fantastic. It's ancient, it's probably 300 years old. Totally worn away almost, the sun and teeth still on the rim. Fantastic investment ball, it's only 160 quid. Now if this doesn't sell this time, I can put the price up because it's crazy, I think it's too cheap. Fantastic. Prices have gone up now guys. Um, I don't normally do it, but this is a, Type of ball, I think I must have recorded it three or four times and people I'm in an R and over it. £160, that's a bargain. Wrong stick. Beautiful bowl, absolutely stunning. So that's the 312, it's only one hertz off this person's required frequency. Let's have a listen. I've got a 313 and a 312 on my knees here. 313. 312. Both really good bowls. Okay. Now, uh, this fantastic, this is a, another bargain guys, it's only 220 online. Fantastic. I mean, I, sometimes I'm, so, I'm amazed these balls are still available for sale. You, see, you can't even buy these, I'm the only guy selling these balls. That's, fun. That's amazing, it's got copper in inside. This is an ancient ball, again, two, three hundred years old. Wow. This is the D4289, and it's over a kilo in weight, 220 quid, it's cheap. This is the best ball I think of a lot. Excellent sustain, beautiful bowl, heavy, an investment piece. There you go, guys. Uh, there's no takers on these bowls. I give up. <laughs> so that's the video for today. Um, I've got lots of other things to do. Um, I'll see you on the next one, guys. I just paid for a load of bowls. I paid for some more pedestals and more fardos. 
and some ganta as well, some some bells, you know, like Hindu ritual bells, fantastic. I haven't got any here now, but um, yeah, they, they weren't cheap, but they're a decent sized bell, and I love them, some of them are fantastic. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.